Elote is one of my favorite Mexican snacks and side dishes during the summer, and since I was just in Cabo a few days ago, I thought I would bring you my version of this recipe today. Elote is also known as Mexican street corn, and you will find it in abundance in Mexico when the weather is warm. I like to think of it as elevated grilled corn on the cob, because what you do is you take grilled corn cobs, slather it in a creamy mayo spread, sprinkle on some crumbled cotija cheese, a little bit of chili powder, some lime juice, and fresh cilantro. This tasty side dish is sweet, salty, juicy, crunchy, and creamy, and if you haven't had it before, you are definitely in for a treat. So let me show you how to make it. We'll start by making the creamy mayo blend that you'll brush all over the grilled corn, which helps everything else to stick. I mix three tablespoons of mayonnaise and three tablespoons of sour cream, so it's a 50-50 blend, but you could also swap in Mexican crema or the lime crema recipe from my website for a more limey punch. I personally like the addition of sour cream in this, but many elote stands default to just using mayo as well, so feel free to tweak it to your liking. But one ingredient that you really don't want to swap out for alternatives is the cotija cheese. Cotija is a semi-firm, slightly aged, but still crumbly cheese named after the town of Cotija, Mexico. But what I really love about Cotija is its salty flavor. It's sort of a cross between feta and Parmesan in terms of flavor and texture, depending on how long it's been aged. And because it doesn't melt, it's perfect for sprinkling on top of the corn and getting all nice and stuck in the creamy mayo sauce. You'll need about half a cup of crumbled cotija cheese, and once you've got that, you can just set it aside. I like to add a little cilantro as garnish on top of the elote for a pop of green, and because I just personally love cilantro, but I'd say most elote stands in Mexico don't really add the cilantro probably because it's harder to keep fresh in the blazing summertime heat. But that's one of the beauties of making this recipe at home is that you can add the cilantro if you'd like. You'll need two to three limes for this recipe, depending on how juicy they are, and just go ahead and slice them into squeezable quarters. Fresh lime juice really gives that perfect zing of flavor when it's squeezed on top. And that's why I mentioned earlier that my lime crema is also a great swap because it just enhances the lime flavor even more. All right, it's time to get grilling. Preheat a grill on medium heat and then place the corn directly over the heat on the grill. You'll cook the corn for about 10 minutes or so, rotating the corn every few minutes for an even char. Now, I'm a big proponent of grilling the corn for this recipe because that smokiness adds another layer of flavor and just oozes summertime vibes. But if you don't have an outdoor grill, you can of course use an indoor grill pan or even boil the corn. But if you do have an outdoor grill, it's definitely worth it to heat that baby up. And if you're cooking this recipe for a fiesta or barbecue, you can easily double or triple the recipe and then just pile more corn on the grill. Now, I first had elote in Puerto Vallarta when I was 17, and you can find plenty of street carts and vendors in cities like Guasave or Mexico City. But I actually had a harder time finding it this past week in Cabo San Lucas. Though I did find some esquites, and I'll share some video of that and tell you the differences between the two at the end of this recipe. Once the corn have a lovely char on the outside, go ahead and remove them to a plate. And can I just say how much I lucked out with beautiful weather while filming this recipe? It's a perfect 75 degrees in Southern California today, which definitely makes me happy. At this point, it's super easy to assemble the elote. Just start by brushing the creamy mayo all over the warm corn. It'll slightly melt into the corn, but that's fine because then it gets into all those nook and cranny spots. Oh, I almost forgot. I actually like to drizzle the lime juice twice on this recipe. First, right when you take it off the grill so that the lime juice can soak into the corn, and then again at the very end. So let's just pretend I didn't already slather that first corn cob and go ahead and squeeze lime juice on the remaining corn. I really do think the more lime, the better in this recipe. And then once that's done, you can finish slathering the creamy mayo all over the corn. Sprinkle the crumbled cotija cheese all over, and I like to lightly press it into the corn just to ensure it sticks pretty well. Though you will have bits falling off, and that's totally fine, this is somewhat of a messy recipe, which again, makes it perfect for an outdoor recipe where mess is less of a concern.
The next ingredient is chili powder, and you can shake that directly on top, though I got rid of my shaker top on my spice jar, so I'm just gonna use my fingers to sprinkle it all over. And while chili powder sounds like it'll be hot, it's really not hot at all on this recipe, just flavorful. But a swap for the chili powder would also be hot sauce, and if you prefer that, you can drizzle it straight on top. The last two things you need to do are sprinkle some of that fresh cilantro on top, and then more lime juice. I know I sound like a broken record, but the more lime, the better. It really does go so well with the creamy mayo and salty cheese. And there you have it. That's how you make a lote. I just pick up a corn cob with my hands and dig on in, but if you'd like to be a bit more fancy, you could stick wood skewers or corn cob handles into the ends before serving it up. When you bite into it, you'll get the juicy and smoky corn with layers of creamy, salty, spicy, and zingy flavor. It's the perfect summertime recipe, and while you're likely to get it all over your face when you eat it, it is totally worth it. And now you guys know why I was so bummed I couldn't find any street carts or open vendors for elote in Cabo. But I did find this one business that had esquites, which is essentially elote in a cup. So instead of the corn being grilled or roasted, it's usually boiled, but the rest of the ingredients are very similar. I chose a small cup of esquites today, which made for the perfect afternoon snack. And you can see here that the boiled corn is drained and then layered with mayonnaise, cheese, and a chili sauce or hot sauce. I sat under a tree to enjoy it and take a break from walking around town in the hot afternoon heat, and it was fun to see lots of kids stopping by after school to grab one for themselves. I hope you enjoyed today's video and my little jaunt to Cabo, and if you did, make sure to give this elote recipe a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends to grill up for Cinco de Mayo or any day of the week, and I will see you again in the next video.